Hello my BFF, I'm going to be making a video about getting a permit and driving. I don't have my license yet, so I'm not a professional, but we're going to get there soon. But I'm going to make this video for you guys. So let's get started. I have notes right here, so I won't forget anything. Alright, so um, when I was 15 and a half, I took my test and I failed it at the 27th question. And you can only get 10 wrong, so I only got 16 right. Then I didn't take it when I was 16 at all. I don't know why. And then when I turned 17, not when I turned 17, I'm 17 now. Um, this year I took it four times, and the fourth time I passed, it was like a life or death situation. No, well, not really, but it was like you either pass or fail. I had one question I was on and was like either pass it or fail it and I passed it. I was so happy. Oh my gosh. I was like so tired of taking that test over and over and I was going to just kill myself. No, I wasn't. I wasn't going to kill myself at all. Um, yeah. You have to get 40 out of 50 right to pass here in Nevada. So, yeah. And I got it May 28th and I was so happy. May 28th with the day um so you get a paper permit when you first go there I mean not when you first go there but when you pass it you get a paper permit and then two weeks later you get your permit I'm not gonna show you guys up close because you know just safety reasons okay all right sorry I'm looking down I'm looking at my notes um so my lessons okay um it was it was it's a better option for me to do the lessons than to learn from my parents and my sisters because they all yell. Um, my dad's been doing great, great, good without yelling at me. So yeah. Um, so my first lesson we were just learning about the gas and the brake and turning and some we did a little bit of signaling and stuff. That was like the first lesson. I learned a lot from that lesson. The second lesson was um, we did some main streets, like small, smaller main streets, like not as busy as really big main street, but it was uh, still a main street. Um, and we did lane changes, which was like really fun. Um, third one, we did some parallel parking and we did the freeway, which was scary. Um, I keep saying, um, fourth one was more parking, and we did more review because I did some practice outside of lessons. And then fifth lesson was review. I mean, fourth lesson we did practice test two, and I got 85%, and you need 80% to pass in Nevada for your driver's license. So I feel like I can pass it, but I'm just going to still wait till I'm 18. The fifth lesson, which was today... We did a review. We did. He gave me my um my certificate because um you get a discount in your insurance if you took driver's ed. I mean not driver's ed, driver's lessons, and uh, we did cruise control on the freeway, which is really cool. Now I like figured out why people don't get as tired driving that far. Like when you go to different states and stuff, because they use cruise control. I felt so. Um, when I first when I learned that I was like really, I've been thinking that mom been like pressing the gas the whole way to where we're going. I'm like, she's in cruise control. Upset. Um, distractions. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you guys, distractions are big. Um. So, music right now is a big distraction because I am. I'm starting to get into music and liking music and want to dance all the time, so it's not good for me to miss listen to music while I'm driving. Um, I used I used to get distracted from to talk. I mean, from distracted by talking to people that's in the car, which is like either whoever I'm driving with and them talking to me. Like I would ha try to like put it in my mind and try to reply while looking at the road, while trying to turn a signal and everything. I thought it was going to be like the hardest thing ever to multitask because I know driving is multitasking. It's a lot of multitasking. It's not like just like one or two things. It's like five, six things. 
so you don't need any distractions. Um, and another thing is, what is that? My family makes me nervous. Okay, when I'm at the driving instructor, I'm good. With my dad, sometimes I'm good. Most of the time I'm good. With my sisters and my mom, well, I haven't drove with my mom yet. They make me just nervous, just all the way nervous. Like, why do you have to make me so nervous? Um, I have tips and recommendations. I do recommend you guys to do lessons if your parents are like my parents and they yell. Um, I just recommend it all the way. It's like, it's much calmer, safer. They have a break on their side, they have a break on your side. They have a mirror looking back, so you can always see what you're, what they're, they can see what you're doing and you can see what you're doing by the main mirror. Um, I would recommend you guys practice as much as you can when you get your permit because it's going to really help you when you pass your test. Um, I still have a couple months of practicing because I'm taking a day after my birthday, which is September 9th because it's a Monday. And my birthday is September 8th. So, or I might take the 10th because Tuesday somebody's off for me to take their car. I'd rather drive a small car because I was practicing in the 2009 Ford Focus. And I like the car. It, I like it better than my mom's car. She has a bigger car. She has like a, I think they call it the SUV. But it's like, it's higher up and it's like four doors and stuff. Yeah, okay. Mm. So, I recommend you guys paying attention and get stuff done before you drive. Like, what I mean by getting stuff done, like if you're thirsty, drink some water. If your lips are dry, put some Carmex on. If your hands are dry, put some hand lotion on. Brush your hair. I recommend you putting your hair back because when it's, it's like, you don't want to take your hands off the wheel much if you're just learning how to drive. So, you just want to pin back your hair. Which I do most of the time. Put back my hair for driving lessons. Um, yeah. Oh, and I think don't have anything on your mind because if you have something on your mind, you're just, it's going to really distract you. It should have been a distraction, but have something on your mind, it's, it's a bigger distraction. Like, um, what are you going to do later on? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you, what are you going to eat? What are you going to, who are you going to call? Whatever test scores, whatever, if you have that on your mind, you're going to be really distracted and it's going to really cause you some problems, okay? All right. Okay, sorry, I have to get something real quick. Um, another thing I recommend you guys is to wear something comfortable. I opted to wear, like, loose shirts and shorts because it's most comfortable. I, okay. Last this past Sunday, I went to church and I was driving with my dad, and I had stockings and I had a skirt on, and the skirt was a little bit longer, so I had to pull my skirt like all the way up to my thighs just to drive comfortably, because you don't want to drive uncomfortably. And another thing was shoes, you guys. Shoes is a big thing. I think it's a big thing because it's really what's controlling the car in your hands. Um, I recommend closed toe shoes. I opt to wear Toms all the time because I don't know, they're just more comfortable to drive in, comfortable to walk in. I really want another pair because these ones are fading because I washed them like twice. And you can wash these. Yeah, I, I really like Toms. Toms are really comfortable. Um, when I went to church, I wore these, these flats from Lane Bryant, and they were kind of comfortable to drive in also. I don't have any problems, but if you're going to wear flats, make sure they're not going to, like, slip off, like, really loose flats. Do not wear those. And flip-flops, flip-flops, I don't recommend it at all. I'm scared to drive with flip-flops. I don't want to drive with flip-flops. I did it before, and I was terrified because I felt like that the, my toe and the flip-flop would, like, be between the gas or the brake and I can't like let it go or I can't brake or something so I don't I'm never gonna drive with, with flip flops I would I would put flip flops in my, my purse and drive with Tom's okay that's that's how scared I am I just I don't want to do it alright so the scariest moments 
I have had in my driving experience. Okay? Freeway was the first thing we did that was like, oh my goodness, no, don't make me do it. No, I don't want to do it. The freeway is actually, it's kind of okay. It depends on what freeway you're on. It's, if you're on the, I don't even know what to call it, but some people call it interstate. I don't know. But if you're on a freeway where it's like, it's not, it's empty, but it's like, not empty, but it's not busy, then I'm okay. But if it's on a busy freeway, I feel like somebody's not going to let me in. And then like when you're going, there's like a lane and it like merges over. And sometimes people don't want to let you in. They just want to box you in. Like you just have to go ahead of them or you have to slow down and get behind them. Whatever. Do what you got to do. Whoa, what just happened here? Oh, okay. <clears throat> U-turns in traffic is kind of, kind of was kind of scary. But you guys learn accelerate, accelerate. Um, when you're making a U-turn, this would be like the curve. This would be you. you. Might want to come out out a little bit and then turn your wheel all the way. <coughs> okay, you want to turn your wheel all the way and then accelerate and move your wheel back. That's what you want to do. Um, roundabouts, I I really not go through roundabouts. Roundabouts are a little bit scary because like sometimes they won't let you in. And like it's just a weird thing. I don't know, it's just weird. Like I like when I went there, I was like trying to just go in it. I had to like wait, I guess. Yeah. That's basically it. Um you you will learn really quick and you'll start feeling confident. I feel confident behind the wheel. Except for the mom's car. Her car is just it's just big. Like I rather stay in a car like a well, I was driving a Ford Focus. I like the Ford Focus and my dad has a Honda. So I rather drive one of those cars. My my sister has a Ford but it's like her car is really weird. It's like one of those cars that like the front is like really really short. Like the front end is not big as the car, but it's like littler, smaller, littler. Is that even a word? Littler. Okay, let's stop rambling. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and please comment, please subscribe, please like this video, and if you have any questions or requests for me to do, um, comment them. Thanks for watching. Bye.